they find the Duke of York hanging out in North England, probably still celebrating the 12 days of Christmas because it's December 30th. Not ideal fighting conditions. But the Duke of York is a cocky motherfucker. So he's like, oh yeah, sure. I'll meet you anytime, any place. So on December 30th, uh, he died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There was a Cocky battle. Motherfucker's like, let's go, and he's dead. And he's dead. <laughs> and he is in the past tense now. Yes. <laughs> the Duke of York is beheaded along with his son Edmund and their friend, the Duke of Salisbury. Their heads are put on spikes and displayed in the town of York. I know Game of Thrones is a lot of stories are pulled mm-hmm. from the Wars of the Roses, but Ned Stark's head. Like, oh, that's... this is absolutely. Is what it, is Ned Stark from. the Duke of York? You think? I maybe 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 so would that make Cersei Margaret I don't know yeah yeah it would anyway her um (laughs) she does something kind of shitty here though yeah the two guys that had been watching over her husband while he was being held captive have actually been pretty nice to him and Henry promised to pardon them once this was all done. But Maggie at this point is just out for blood and has both of those guys executed. Yeah. Okay, so why would she do this if her husband had made a promise to them? You Don't you want to like uphold the promises of your family? First off, she clearly has no regard for Henry anymore. Like mm-hmm. any respect or anything that she had, I think is out the fucking window. She's like, look at him. How can you make promises to anyone? He doesn't even realize that there's arrows shooting past his head right now. His word means nothing. Right. She's in her she-wolf era. Yes. These guys fight for the side that want to rob her son of what is rightfully hers. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Mm-mm. You're dead. Bye. You're dead. You're dead. I don't care what the crazy man I'm married to said. There's a story that that's mm. why they say that Edward, the Prince of Wales, Edward might be the um, inspiration for Joffrey because of this story. He's viewed as kind of a sociopath. They say that actually they asked the eight year old Edward. Margaret's like, what do you want to do with these men? And Edward was like, kill him. We don't know if that story is true, but that has definitely affected the legacy of the Prince of Wales. That would make Margaret Cersei. Yeah. That would kind of solidify that. That's kind of where George R.R. Martin pulled some of Mm -hmm. the stuff. Hmm. Yeah. 